Hi guys, Paul here at Paul Phillips Fix. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, if you could keep, please give a like and subscribe. It helps YouTube know that somebody's watching and helps support the channel. And I'll leave you alone with that. So one of my viewers, uh, Dayton Pyro, wrote uh, me a message. And he said he's having hesitation in his Chevy Impala. I think it's a 3.8. Mine is an 08 3.5, so I was going to show him where the Schrader valve was on the uh, fuel rail where the injectors are. A Schrader valve looks just like a tire filling valve for anybody that's not familiar with that. Uh, <clears throat> if you have the 3.5 or the 3.8, if that's what it is, you can Google the location and find that. You can buy a fuel pressure gauge and test your fuel pressure from that schrader valve uh so the problem he's having with the car is hesitation during acceleration it sounds like it's bogging down or if he's cruising at like 50 60 miles an hour and he gets on it the car kind of stumbles all right there's a few things that could cause this uh i told him first cheapest thing to attempt is cleaning his MAF sensor his mass airflow sensor that's right on the intake tube of the engine after the air cleaner. I'm being real basic because I've been told before that sometimes I don't cover basic stuff for people who aren't familiar at all with auto mechanics or DIY projects. So bear with me. So uh, I told him that probably won't fix it, but it's worth an attempt and they should be cleaned every once in a while anyway. I'm thinking he has a fuel delivery problem uh, I recommended that he put some fuel injector cleaner in the tank. He said he had used Seafoam. That's a pretty decent brand. I like Lucas fuel injector cleaner myself, uh, but I used to use Seafoam. So several things can cause this. One is a faulty fuel pressure regulator. The 3.5 does not have an external fuel pressure regulator on it. That's all built in on the fuel pump in the tank. I don't know whether that is the same issue with the 3.8. Uh, another thing can be a faulty fuel pump, not delivering high enough fuel pressure. So when you go to turn your ignition key on, your uh, fuel pump will activate and prime the system. If your fuel system is working properly, you should come up to the specified pressure. I think mine is around 50, 55 pounds. And when you turn the key off, it should real slowly drop. It shouldn't drop quickly. If your pressure is dropping down quickly, you could have leaky fuel injectors or you could have a bad check valve within the fuel pump assembly. Uh, my car, I had a leaky fuel injector. So I replaced all the injectors and I wound up with another f leaky fuel injector, brand new. Guys, the parts are shit now. You're getting garbage brand new out of the box. So uh, I highly recommend that Dayton Pyro do a fuel pressure test. Uh, another thing that can cause this issue during acceleration or higher speeds because you're using a higher volume would be a dirty fuel filter. Uh, again, on the 3.5, the fuel filter is built in on the pump assembly. But this is another thing that can give you this problem with fuel delivery. So those are the things I suggest that he do to see if he has a problem with either pressure regulator, fuel pump, fuel pump pressure issue, or fuel filter. Uh, Another thing that could cause these problems would be ignition breaking down on acceleration. Uh, you can have good spark when the engine is not under load, but then when you get it under load, you're bringing higher pressures and stuff in the combustion chamber with more fuel. So you will wind up straining the spark plug to jump the ignition system to jump that gap but usually you would get a flashing check engine light if it's an ignition misfire. So I don't know, I hope this is some useful information for you, Dayton Pyro. I am sorry I did not get to this video sooner. Uh, it was five degrees when I woke up this morning. I was gonna go out to my car and I was freezing my ass off. So I'm doing it in my living room, 
before I get ready to jump in the shower. So if you have any more questions, I'm going to post my email for you. You can write me and we'll get to the bottom of this on your car. I always try to write back to anybody or help anybody who contacts me through the YouTube channel. This is our channel, guys. Let's work together. Anything I get wrong or information any of you guys can share with me in the comments uh, section, I am always willing to learn. I do not know it all. I'm trained to study on uh, scope work now. I bought a, uh, oh my God, here goes a fucking senior moment again, a Pico scope. So I started playing with that last year. So I hope when the weather breaks this spring, we can start doing some scope work and learn how to do that on the cars. So Dayton Pyro, thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe. I would appreciate it. I would appreciate it. Any of you guys do. I'm going to put a link for some of the tools I use. I'm an Amazon affiliate. Uh, I don't do promotions for tools getting sponsored by them. Even if I did, I would not sell out. I would not tell you a shitty tool is a good tool, even if I'm getting sponsored. Uh, so being an Amazon affiliate, this goes to the channel. Wendy helps with camera equipment, video. So this goes to help support the channel. That goes to Wendy. She's been a great supporter of the channel. Uh, some of these tools you can find on Amazon. It's at no added cost to you, so I appreciate it. That's another way you could support the channel. See you soon, guys. We'll be back. Take good care of your cars. They'll take good care of you. Take good care of your tools. They should last you a lifetime. And most of all, take good care of yourselves and your families. Bye-bye, guys. See you soon. GoPro, stop recording. Holy shit, I had strong coffee. GoPro, stop recording.